Update. My best friend's fiancé groped me at a party and now I think our friendship is over. Hi. Original post. I will just dive right into the update. Many things has happened but I'm unfortunately not any wiser for it. I usually have Wednesdays off and I like to have a lie in till lunchtime today however I woke up to the door phone ringing at half past eight. It was my best friend so I buzzed her in. She turned up with him and the baby girl. They were both all smiles. I let them in and went to the bathroom. I took a shower. I have been getting angry red rash on my body since it happened and a cold shower usually calm it down. When I got out I found them in the kitchen making coffee. They had brought croissants with them. I just stood there waiting for them to talk but my best friend just handed me the baby and started. Small chat about the weather and how the baby girl hasn't been sleeping well etc. I didn't comment on anything so she just looked at me and started crying. She told me that the douche and I were the people she trusted the most and that it's tearing her apart seeing that we don't get along. She always felt like she had to choose between the two of us and that she refused to do it anymore and needed us to at least be civil to each other. He was patting her on the back. I said that ship has sailed don't you think? So she turned angrily to him and asked him to do what he had came here for. So he started apologizing and saying that he was very drunk and didn't remember a lot but that he's very remorseful. I wasn't looking at him and when he finished I asked her if she knew what he did. He interrupted her and said, yes we have already discussed this. I told her that I will speak to her later and they left. But before they went she hugged me and said she's sorry. I went back to bed. When I woke up I was still so angry. How could she just bring him unannounced to my place and demand that I forgave him on spot? So I texted her that I did not appreciate her bringing him into my home when he not three days ago assaulted me. She said I was exaggerating. I asked her if she would think it was okay that someone pinched her like that and laughed when she couldn't fend him off. I can show you his nail marking. She told me he didn't remember any of it. I texted her that I'm planning to report him to the police. She called me immediately and was shaking with anger. How could I do something like this to her and her baby? Why am I being so selfish? I asked how she isn't terrified of him when she knows what he's capable of. That the reason he hurt me was because I didn't like him and it bothered him. She started crying. Then she ended with, how will you prove that it wasn't you who came on to him? There's always two sides of a story and the police will want to hear both, I hang up. She called a few times more but I didn't answer. She texted now that she loved me but that I must think of her before doing anything stupid that can ruin her life and our relationship. So that's that. I am probably going to lose her. And no matter how easy many of you think it is to do the right thing. I feel like I am the biggest boss right now. TL. Doctor my relationship with my best friend is probably over because I want to report her fiancé for hurting me. She started crying. Then she ended with, how will you prove that it wasn't you who came on to him? There's always two sides of a story and the police will want to hear both, I hang up. She called a few times more but I didn't answer. Never answer her calls again. She's a piece of shit. You report him. You use the host as your witness and go from there. Fuck your friend if she isn't passed as hell about what he did. That is messed up. Report him because in the long run you're helping your friend as well. When he starts beating her and the kid up. Which he def gonna do. Your report will show in his record. How are you feeling? Do you have anyone to talk to? Be careful who you let in your home. Look lady. This all fucking sucks. But you need to put serious distance between you and those two people. 
she is a fucking nightmare of a parent wanting a man like that to be the male role model for her daughter. He will do that to her friends when they are at an age he deems appropriate to do that too. And she will blame those young girls for it. Your friend honestly kind of sucks. But she might be scared and trapped I have no idea. But putting your kid so low on your list of priorities is never okay to me. Dude's going to ruin lives with the full support of his wife and that poor little girl of hers is going to think that being with a sexually assaulting drunk is what a marriage is supposed to be like. A home filled with tension. Women, mysteriously, stopping coming around to visit. The daughter will start only visiting friends and never having them come over. It's going to get dark my friend and you don't want to stand and watch it. She has already chosen him over her own daughter so you sure as shit don't have a fucking prayer of winning this thing and getting her away from him. Report or don't report that is up to you. I don't know how long things stay on file where you are living or from. But perhaps a paper trail of previous reportings on him will help the next young woman he assaults. But I can't speak to that being accurate. At least where I am from. Not USA. You ladies still don't really get a fair shake. We just elected a guy to government who raped a 16-year-old girl while he was a cop and everyone knew about it and still voted for the dude and I am in a first world country so I am a bit disillusioned on how women don't get justice. Whatever you decide I hope you nothing but the best. I'm so sorry this happened to you. What a disgusting violation and what a shit friend to protect her predator of a boyfriend. None of it is your fault. You are not being selfish. You did not ruin anyone's life or relationship. Take pictures of the nail marks and compile any text massages, proof you might have, the fact that your friend is throwing doubt on you makes me believe they'll do whatever they need to to maintain that he's not guilty of what he did. CYA. Keep your head up. You'll get through this. I would report him it sounds like she is willing to back up her man. Like she would rather him be okay than be there for you. You are not a pos however your friend is acting like one. She has known you for 25 years and believes him. Which I also understand because who wants to believe their partner would do this. Does she know exactly what happened or just what he told her has happened? Maybe ask her what he said happened. He interrupted her and said, yes we have already discussed this. Have you actually told her what he really did? I'm betting that the reason he interrupted at that point is he painted a much lighter picture of what he did to your friend, and was for sure a way to control the conversation at that point. He may have said he pinched your arm or something. Likely won't change anything. But if you haven't then she might not know the whole story and is being this way because she can't see why you'd want to report a pinch on the arm instead of what it was physically restraining you and pinching your nipple hard enough to leave bruises and only letting you go because he noticed someone else was there. You're not losing anything. She went from blaming you to calling you a liar to bringing the man that assaulted you to your house. Take a picture of the marks. Report him. Block her fully. She's a trash friend having a baby with someone that assaults women. Also tell a friend or two so she cannot spin the narrative in her way. Report him. You are not a pos. No one deserves to be assaulted. The pos in this situation is your friend's fiancé. You aren't ruining your friend's life. Her pos fiancé is. At the same time. We can all appreciate the situation she is in. She is trapped. She has a child with this man. At this moment it's easier for her to deny and come up with excuses rather than face reality. You are right. You may lose this friendship but that's her choice not yours. If I was in your shoes. My response to this would be simple and straightforward. 
as much as your friend would like for this situation to go away. It's not going to, even if you don't file charges. Her fiancé is still feels it's okay to assault women when in a relationship. Does she think it won't happen again? Does she think he will be a faithful partner? Him being drunk is an excuse. Plenty of people drink too much and don't assault their fiancé best friend. She has a choice. She can face this now. Or she can face this at some point down the road after he has cheated on her or after he has assaulted someone else. She deserves him. And you deserve a better friend. Friends listen when they are told their boyfriend assaulted someone. Friends don't try to turn it around and victim blame. You have marks on your body because of him. I am sorry. You will be better off not speaking to her again. He gave you even more of a reason to hate him and she has chosen him over you. My. Now ex. Beef's then boyfriend. Now fiancé. Got angry at me, for defending her in an argument lol. And drunkenly picked me up. I'm on the smaller side. Threw me onto my couch and started hitting my face with my pretty dense throw pillows. I got up and kicked him in the crotch. Cussing him out. My friend never spoke to me again and is now marrying him. Good riddance to bad rubbish. As my dad would say. You need to report him to the police. Think of that little girl they have. Seriously. This probably isn't the first time he's done this to someone. Follow through. Report him to the police. You already have their admission that he doesn't really remember, and was drunk. So how would he remember you coming onto him? And why would you come onto your best friend's boyfriend? Just. No no no. She's so enamored with douche she wants you to forgive and forget. Time to get new friends. Your friend is a failure of a human being and you should block her on everything. Never answer her calls again. As for her disgusting fiancé. Report him 100%. I'm so sorry this happened. But that woman is not your friend. Even if it feels like you're losing a friendship. You're not. She has made her choice and it's an awful one. For you. For herself and for her child. Even without this happening that situation is going to blow up in her face eventually. Do what you need to do to protect yourself and let her deal with the consequences of her bad choices. I hope you get a good result from the police and can heal from this. Not just the assault but from being let down by someone you should have been able to trust. You deserve better. Maybe give your local sexual affairs center a call to speak to advocate. They may be able to assist you and help you prep before going to law enforcement. You let him in? Makes you ask, who else has he done this to? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.